Okay. It's pretty cool no, to have your own versions yeah. of characters that you can see in the game that you can make for yourself and you don't have to buy. This is our creations yeah. when we finished our um, paper things. <laughs> Welcome to Family Gamer TV. I recently got to play an upcoming Vita game called Tearaway and I really liked what I saw. For those who don't know, this is the newest game from Media Molecule who made the Little Big Planet series of games uh, on the PS3. Now this game is for the Vita, um, so what they've done is they've tried to make it fit with the console itself. Because you have the touch screen on the front and the rear touchpad uh, on the back, they wanted to make something that felt like you could actually touch the game world. And what they've ended up with is an action adventure set in a world made completely out of paper. Kind of like a pop-up book um, is what it feels like in your hands. Um, so everything in the world is made of paper. It's all very colourful and it looks really great. Um, it plays like a normal action adventure game. Um, the story is uh, you in the real world are helping a little messenger in the paper world that you hold in your hands um, to achieve its goal, which is delivering a message to you. Um, and every message is apparently unique to each player, which is a nice touch. Um, basically what's happened is this little messenger who's called Iota, if it's a boy, or a Twa, which is the opposite of Iota, if it's a girl, um, tried to deliver a message to our world but ended up getting it wrong and ripping a hole in the paper sun. So in the game, the messenger can actually look up at this hole in the sun and see you and see your face, which you'll be able to see on the screen. Um, so you can see it and it can see you um, and you kind of work together to achieve the messenger's goal. Um, because it's a typical action adventure game, um, what you're doing in the game is just kind of walking around, um, kind of defeating enemies, collecting items, jumping on platforms and generally progressing through levels. Um, but because it's made in a world of paper, it has some kind of unique touches to it. So some of the things you can do uh, is you can use the front touch screen to kind of slide things open so you can open presents, you can unfold um, kind of non-playable characters that might have things to tell you. Um, and you can also use the rear touch screen as well. Um, you can do things like if there's a bouncy platform that the messenger needs to jump on to get to a higher place, uh, you tap the rear touch screen. Um, I think it's a paper drum. You tap it and it bounces. Um, so it makes kind of a drum beat and then it bounces your little messenger onto the next platform. Um, Another thing that the rear touchpad is used for, which is really, really cool and has been seen in kind of all the trailers, is um, in certain areas that are really, really thin in the world, and you can actually see shadows of the real world from the, from the Vita's rear camera uh, through these thin areas, you can poke your fingers at the back of the screen and a, a finger that looks like yours will appear in the game as if you've pushed your finger through your Vita and into the game world. Uh, this is used for things like kind of defeating enemies and moving things out of the way, moving a log over so that your, your messenger can jump up on it and things like that. The great thing about this, and this is something that people were worrying about when they saw this in all the trailers, is that you can customize the way the fingers appear in the game. Um, so at the beginning of the game, you choose your gender and you choose your skin tone and your whether you're a big person or a little person. And then the fingers that appear will reflect that. So you might have uh, a small feminine looking brown colored finger or a big masculine looking uh, pale colored finger. And that'll kind of hopefully reflect the player themselves so it won't break the feel of the game too much. This isn't the only thing you can customize though. In the game itself, you can actually change parts of the world. It's not quite like Little Big Planet, so you can't make your own levels, but you can do things like take pictures with your Vita camera of patterns in the real world and then apply them to creatures in the game. Um, or you can do things like uh, what I ended up doing in the demo level that I played is I ended up having to make a crown for a little squirrel. Um, so I was given a sheet of colored paper in the game, um, actually three sheets of different colors, and uh, I dragged a line across the touch screen and that acted as scissors, kind of cutting the paper out. Uh, once you've made the crown that you want, you then put it on the squirrel and he's very happy and he lets you progress. The coolest thing about the game, uh, in my opinion, and this will be good for families as well, is the way it extends into the real world. So even when you're done with the game, while it might not have the longevity that Little Big Planet had with all the creation tools, what you do get is uh, your own papercraft things to make in the real world. So through the game, you collect confetti, um, which is kind of kind of like gold coins in Mario or whatever you might collect in other games. Um, but it actually has meaning here. So once you collect a certain amount, you get to unlock papercraft plans that you can go to the website, the Terraway website, and print out. Um, so I printed out one of these to show my family um, to see what they thought. And it was um, a plan of a squirrel. You can print out the squirrel itself 
and um, you know, color it in, cut it out, glue it together and make your own. You can color in and design completely your own uh, character that will that you know appears in the game, uh, but a real world version. So you can make it whatever color you want. Um, you know, you can draw a funny face on it or anything like that. Um, when I tried making them with my family, we had a, a few difficulties, especially with the younger kids. Um, when you coloring in is fine, cutting out was generally okay. Uh, but when it came to knowing which way to fold things and where to stick things together, it helped to have a separate uh, plan that we hadn't cut up so that we could look at it and see where the different bits went. Okay. It's pretty cool to have your own versions of characters that you can see in the game that you can make for yourself and you don't have to buy. This is our creations when we finished our um, paper things. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.